Hey everybody, Wayne at Mighty Henry. Well, after many, 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 many requests, we brought back the Shorty Bull die. Uh, this is a uh, steel die. It's got a cap, much like our, uh, our carbide and gold match dies. Uh, but what we did different this time was we created a one-piece pin specifically for 17 and 204 cases. It's only 150 thousandths in diameter, so it can fit down through the necks of those dies. The pin is 078. If you need a thinner pin, you can turn that down. Um, so we'll show you how to use the set it up and use this on a T7, Reading T7 turret press. See you again. So what we've done is we've created a one piece uh, shaft with the pin on it for 1720 obviously those necks are very narrow so we machine this the shaft at 150,000 so it can clear those necks go in and punch out the primer now um, they're not crimped they're not in that tight so a spring a rebound spring isn't necessary so what you want to do is you just drop it in take your cap Turn it all the way down, set it in the die to touch your shell plate or your case holder. Snug it. You're ready to decap 17 and 204. Now, this is the second benefit to this die, which was the original benefit. Let me, let me explain to you what that is. If you want a steel die, and you're decapping anywhere from 380 to 308. The steel bodied shorty bull is one tough customer. Okay. So what you do at that point is this. You're going to take your full size shaft, which is 218. You're going to turn your pin in. Then you're going to drop some blue Loctite. Right there, maybe a sixteenth of an inch from the end of this radius. Then you're going to turn this. And then you're going to grab the flats right here with a plier and you're going to use a 3 16 wrench to snug the pin don't over tighten it just snug it let it sit for 15 minutes so the blue loctite can do its thing then you drop it into the die you're going to add your spring and you're going to put your cap back on which is posted for the spring set it there push it down turn it in pull away you're going to butt up against the O-ring, back it out a quarter to a, I don't know, three-eighths, even a half a turn is fine, but three-eighths is better. You don't want that pin moving left and right. So at that point, you know, you're just going to take a case, listen for the snapback. You hear that? That's the spring collapsing, allowing the shaft top to mate with the post. The spring rebounds after that mating is done and the primer is flicked off the pin and you're good to go. No pullbacks. This can also be used as a hold down die. And being a steel die, it can be used on any press. Whether you're running a single stage turret press, hand levered AP press, or uh, automated press. This die's been out for over five years we replaced it with the XM, which is a breadwinner. But um, there's still a lot of guys that really like this die and want to use it, uh, especially for pistol. So keep the Mighty Armory um, shorty bull in mind. Hell of a die, really is.